by her rules. My name is Alana Patterson and I am a photographer. This is sticker that says works and then I wrote questionable because I don't think it does. <laughs> My project on women in sports has become sort of multi-tiered. Uh, it started with a single project on women's hockey. I was invited to shoot with an, indig an all indigenous girls basketball team by the sports coordinator at Squamish Nation. She was really just looking for a way to keep her team engaged. Having a photographer come down and sort of show them back of themselves as athletes would be a great way to do that. As, we, as I was shooting with them, there was such obvious benefits to the girls. Younger players would show up and watching their confidence grow from the first couple practices to half a year in was, it was astronomical. What we know is that girls react really positively to images of their mentors. So if you can show a girl on a regular basis images of a female athlete like her doing what she wants to do, she has an, an incredibly good reaction to that. Boys have the same reaction, but it's just taken for granted because they always have access to their heroes and mentors. It's always, it's everywhere. It has a benefit for anybody, but girls just don't receive that benefit enough. I chose to shoot with a direct flash on film because I wanted to mirror 80s and 90s sports imagery. I wanted people to think about classic sports imagery and how there is, was a direct lack of female representation. This was the first style of flash I used when I was shooting with the women's hockey and I've busted so many, they're super old school, but they flash like really poppy, really strong. I like them, but I can't shoot with them anymore. It's too slow, because they take a long time to reload and stuff, but this was the beginning. Shooting film brings a very different intention to a project. People read it differently. People think about it more historically, more seriously. They reference the past. Fingers to me, not that way. In the photography industry, we have this thing when you're shooting digital, it's called spray and pray. Uh, you just, if you take enough photos, there's going to be a good one, but you cannot do that on film. It's just not feasible. You have to be very intentional. You have to make your choices. Camera's getting wet today for sure. <laughs> the latest project I've shot on women in sports is on uh, Canada's swimming team. I always think it's really important to show portraits, which I love, and which people really connect with, but I always want to also show them actually doing their sport because that's what they work so hard towards. That is their thing, you know? So I always want to make sure I have action stuff, but it was a bit, it's always going to be difficult in a pool. You only have the one line you can follow them. So I knew whatever athlete was in the one closest to the, you know, the wall, that was going to be the one I got to work with the most. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I really like the direction of the project. I'm really happy with it, but it definitely is sort of a beginning point, having just shot with them once. I think aesthetically it works really great. The water is, looks so awesome and the girls, you know, they're, they're incredible athletes. They are like, those are Olympic athletes. So, you know, they, <laughs> they're at the pool twice a day, six days a week. That's, it's, in, it's incredible and it shows in, you know, in their dedication, in their athleticism, in their relationship with the camera, in their confidence. They like, are the pinnacle of a female athlete. They blew my mind. Ready? Good. I asked to have the sort of you know, really impromptu quick portrait session after the practice because I wanted them to have gotten into that space where they've been engaged in their sport. You know, they're maybe a little bit tired, but they, they have the, the presence of an athlete after they've worked really hard. Okay, thank you. That was beautiful. The portraits that I select are often confrontational. They're looking at the camera and be like, hey, I'm here, I've been here this whole time playing my sport that I love, that nobody supports. <laughs> I've been here the whole time. And you're looking at me now and I'm a little bit pissed. <laughs> Those are the images that kind of 
speak to me and show their essence as female athletes. You know, sometimes I walk into a room and I'll, I'll see a, a person and I'll know immediately how they're going to behave in front of a camera. And it's like, it's just sort of, it's almost an innocence. They stand in front of the camera and they just don't put a mask on. Like, it's just, this is, this is it. This is all I have to show you. This is the, the deal. This is it. Because the camera creates a lot of walls for people. It's a very, very strong tool that people react to. It is a barrier for people, but there's just a certain type of person. They stand in front of the camera and, it, and they're, just, they're just there. I see them standing there and I know that I have to take their photo if, if they'll let me, if they'll have me, you know. It, and I, I, and I'm, I don't think I've ever been wrong about that one.